Okay, so we are live. It's Fort Myers, Florida. It is Dr. Scott Geller. Mid-February 2018, uh, we have a, a doctor here, a DO, medical doctor, emergency room physician from yes. uh, Ohio, correct? And I initially saw you, uh, it was what, last April, something last like April. that? Last April. And last April, we did two laser sessions, and you had a very unusual situation. Uh, I should actually run that. Well, we'll run the video maybe simultaneously if I can edit this. But you had asteroid bodies, which I thought were some of the densest I had ever seen. And I told you that in advance. Right. And I told you that eh, maybe a 50-50 probability of improvement with this because that they, they sometimes respond, sometimes they don't. But your initial experience was a positive one, correct? Correct. There was more light coming through. Yeah, there was the more light coming through. And the we had to uh, sort of stop the, the sessions because you had a slight elevation of pressure, which we treated with uh, eye drops. And like the majority of those cases, the intraocular pressure will go back to a normal level in maybe three to six months. It takes that long. so. It's been 10 months or so since I saw you, and I did a laser session yesterday, and what was your opinion of the difference? Uh, the, the difference was much more dramatic than the first time back in April of last year, in that uh, you created a window, so this large cloud that completely obscured my vision uh, now has just a few floaters in the way. Well, but yeah, yeah, and, and, part, and what's amazing to me is that I have is that light coming through. Is now. that your 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 asteroid bodies lie below the midline? I quite haven't quite seen a case like like yours ever. I don't think, but right, uh, we did two laser <laughs> sessions. Uh, hopefully, we created a greater window. If you ever do develop something like cataract in the future. I think a vitrectomy at the same time simultaneously would be the thing to do to really, really get things better. But you could have had a vitrectomy before you, you chose not to do that. You would have had cataract induced and had to have a second operation. But, but you're happy with the result, right? That's yeah. the bottom line. Yes, because now I have uh, depth perception is returned. Right. And, and that's everything for my job as an emergency physician yeah. in terms of sewing and innovating and doing <laughs> procedures. So great. That's not super. to mention golf. <laughs> I can now see a ball okay. and tell where it's at on the ground. Excellent. And uh, I told you I was actually invited to give a presentation before the uh, Osteopathic Ophthalmological and ENT Association, which is meeting here in Florida in Bonita Springs in April of 2018. Uh, I might I might just uh, use your case as an interesting example of what can be done. Yeah, and hopefully in the future there'll be uh, young ophthalmologists who'll take the ball uh, and run with this. I, I, I can't be doing this forever like anybody. Hopefully no, we'll leave a good legacy. It's, it's a wonderful thing because it's made the difference in actually having sight in the left eye. Now I can actually get probably 20, 20 if I increase the... Yeah, yeah, and, and by the way, uh, I forgot to mention that initially, I think, what did we say your visual acuity was, 2040 or something like that? Well, originally last April, I was back at 270. 270, and, and, and with clearing this little window, your visual acuity went to 2040, 2030, something like that, yeah. which is a big difference. It's a, a big difference. difference. I think it'll go even better since yesterday's treatment. Well, you'll, you'll let me know, and I hope yes. so. You're a great patient. Have a great trip back. You have a lovely spouse.